from the first stories told in firelit caves to the electronically recorded messages of deep space, we leave the 20th century with no regrets. Time bends, space is boundless, and when humanity gasps its last, all that will remain, if anything, will be the theater of tomorrow. Tonight's production is Kennedy Roundhouse Moon Detective. It was that same old dream again. I was out in the dust, looking at the sun, old earth just visible over the ridge of the crater. The ground was... Anyway, you know the dream. It's the same dream, more or less, everyone has from time to time, on the moon. I wake up and forget about it, like everyone does. Let go of old dreams. I'd like to tell you I got woken up by a knock at the door, get out of bed and dressed myself, clear-eyed and ready to take on a new case. But you'll hear plenty of bullshit soon enough. The reality is I woke up with that same old headache hours before she knocked on my door. You here to give or take? Both, Ms. Roundhouse. Two things I don't like in my flat. Dames and playing games. And cleaning, apparently. Twenty years ago, a shape in a drape like this walks into my life. I would have taken all kinds of lip to returning kind. But this isn't twenty years ago. Hasn't been for a while. What do they call you? They usually call... Save your cute answers. I've heard almost all of them. And the ones I haven't heard don't impress me, your name or the door. Mandy. Mandy DeWitt. Two years ago, it was Mandy Licks, Lunar Lounge singer. Now it's Mrs. DeWitt. Why ask if you knew? I thought you didn't like games, big eyes. I misspoke. I don't like other people playing games. What brings you here, Mandy? My driver, a question, and twenty bluebacks. Someone comes into my home with a driver at their employ better have more than twenty blues or one hell of a question. The twenty is just to listen to my question. If you don't want to answer it, you take the twenty and I walk. You want to answer it? I got a hundred and eighty more for you. I tell her I don't like games and she starts playing checkers with me. But twenty blues will keep me wet for a month and she knows it. Only a sucker plays someone else's game. But if you got a sucker's reputation, you gotta play the game. Put the twenty in that desk drawer. And it might be a good idea to ask her question walking, because I already know you're screwing with me. For 170-some years, lunar colonists have had to live with water rationing, even though every citizen has to produce enough water to sustain themselves and their offspring. That's a conspiracy theory for college kids, not a question, Mandy. The next thing out of your mouth better be, or you owe me another 20 and a speedy exit. The question is, why? You've changed my mind, Miss Licks. Already? Yeah. Now it's dames, games, and being jerked around. Mm. Goodbye, Miss Licks. You don't want to answer the question? Even for 180 more? I'm a private eye, not a civil servant. I don't know why there are water rations any more than I know why the lights go on. The men in charge set the pace. I just try to keep up. I am married to George DeWitt, Ms. Roundhouse. One of the men in charge. Consider my question. Consider it a statement. Then consider why no one has ever questioned that statement. This all sounded too familiar. She knows I'm not just a private eye. She knows my whole history. What's her game? What is it you know? I know enough to know there's something to know worth knowing. I know I won't be allowed to know it. And I know that you're the woman who used to be in the business of finding out the things we're not allowed to know. I hope playing at slumming it on the dark side of the city was worth 20 blues to you. That's all it bought you. A play and a brush with the dust. Mandy, I got a little bit of money just come in, which means it'll be going right out soon. I can make a few stops, ask a few questions while I'm out, since I'm kicking up dust anyway. Make sure you ask better questions than you did last time you investigated my husband. You're on my dime now, big eyes. That was irritating. Not uncommon, though. Plenty of people walk through that door holding mice they swear are tigers. 
Seeing mazes where only holes in the walls are, everyone wants their life to be some thrilling tale. At least I can buy a bottle of it'll be alright. I put on my gloves and walked to the bar. I always walked to the bar, it's down the street. I guess I mean I walked it off. She wasn't the first woman to try and hook me on a case. Not even the first celebrity, if that's what you can call her. But something about it sat wrong. Kennedy, the usual, as usual? Just pour the drink, Nick. What's on your mind? The usual, as usual. You usually thinking about Mandy DeWitt. How do you know about her? Singer turned councilman's wife. I read the papers, that's how. She left my flat not 15 minutes ago, Nick. Even for you, that's fast. <laughs> she was in here asking about you. Guess she wanted to know who she went up against before she went up against her. Smarter than I thought. And I already thought she was smart. The more I hear, the louder it gets. And I'm barely listening. She uh, come to you with the case? I hope it wasn't a social call. Her limo wasn't parked too long. I don't like showing my hand. In fact, I don't like leaving the building. But Nikki's got a nose for these things and usually knows better than to ask questions. Launch it, Nick. Launch what? I'm just asking questions, like any good barkeep does. Don't talk to me like I'm other people, Nick. I'm dry, I'm tired, and I already had someone try to bluff me today. What's her trajectory? <laughs> All right. Since we go back, and since you asked so nice, Mrs. DeWitt, formerly Miss Lick, came in here asking if you came in here, asking if I knew you, asking if you were on the level. She asked about ten questions she already knew the answers to before she asked the only question she didn't know the answer to. Don't make me ask. She asked if I thought you were really a fraud turned P.I. Or if you were onto something with the corruption story that got you fired. Hmm. I don't like this one, Nick. I thought she was just some bored silver spooner trying to play a rusty hinge. But the things she said to me and her sniffing around here all point to one thing. What's that? I don't know. You gotta leave this one alone, Kennedy. You'll sleep better at night. Speaking of sleeping better, I'll take a bottle of the green stuff. A bottle? Miss Licks left me a note. A blue one. So none of that debris you have stowed under the bar. The good stuff. From the back. Sure thing, Kenny. The water rationing makes for a chokehold on liquor. On old Earth, they called it prohibition. On the moon, we just call it Tuesday. Nikki knows a guy who knows a girl who still runs bootleg Earthshine. He'll sell to me. We have an arrangement. I'll buy from his supplier, and I won't tell anyone because my hands shake if I don't drink. I grabbed you one of the good ones. This is almost as thick as gravy. Won't even have to cool it. Thanks. Too many things are telling me to go back upstairs and drink to forget. There's only one thing telling me to get on the train and go uptown. And since I know it don't matter how thick the green shine is, I won't get to sleep if that thorn is itching me. I take the lunar train all the way uptown to the one person I can trust. How does it feel like I'm going down the rabbit hole? I know Wally will set me straight. I've saved his ass by falling on the sword years ago. When push comes to shove, I leapt, and he still owes me a few favors. Kennedy Roundhouse, you have all of 90 seconds left to grace with me, and then I'm putting you out in the dust. Wally, listen. Someone put something in my pocket, and it's jabbing at my thigh. I just want to run it past you to see if I'm crazy. You have 30 seconds left. Wally, you owe me- Owe me after I fell on the sword for the DeWitt Kingsley scandal. No, Kennedy, actually, I don't owe you. I did owe you six years ago when you made wild accusations, and when you couldn't back them up and wanted to go public- Wally- Wanted to go public? I was the one who backed you when you fell on your face. You didn't fall on the sword for me, Kennedy. I got cut too, and it's nice to see you and all, but unless that bottle- Wally! Will you stop summarizing for a second and listen? Newspaper editors. Always trying to outline. But I know our history. I don't you need- You have 15 seconds left. Mandy DeWitt paid me a visit today. Is that all she pay you? She pointed me to the water supply. Ken? She hinted that George DeWitt might be involved. George DeWitt has been a council member for 40 years. Of course he's involved with the water supply. Please tell me you're not bugging me with a singer's accusation that her husband's doing his job with nothing else to go on. The story I was working on- No! I'm telling you, George DeWitt is just as dirty today as he was six years ago. Wally, Mandy Licks came to me today and hinted that he is up to something. She wants me to dig. Me. Personally. She even asked Nick about me. Your bartender? Yes. So a 20-something lounge singer marries a 60-something council. She comes to you and hints that something sinister, maybe related to the story you got fired for years ago, is going on. 
You decide, after three years, to come back to me with this story, and your biggest piece of evidence is that she asked your bartender about you? I know he just recapitulates as a reflex of being a newspaper editor for 20 years, but it still comes off like him being an asshole. I'll leave it alone, I will. As a former conspirator and a friend, I'll leave it alone. But only if you tell me right now, in this room, to my face, that this doesn't feel sideways. I'm not going to feed into your mistrust of the powers that be. I refuse to play the role of confidant to a woman who believes in wrongdoings but doesn't know who's doing what wrong. And I certainly won't enable a woman who's brought this nonsense and an illegal bottle of booze into my office at 11 a.m. Knew I could trust Wally. If he's shining me off, then I must be coming in for a landing. Or at least in orbit. I sound like a nut job. I crack open the bottle of shine. Maybe I just got the scent of my old story. Maybe I'm just hungover. Maybe I should just take the 17 blues I still have left and go home. Wait for an easier case or buy some groceries. Instead, I get off at Peregrine Station. If the people watching my back won't help, Maybe I need to talk to someone who has every reason to send me home with a black eye. State your business, please. I just want to talk, Kingsley. Mr. Kingsley is out on business right now. If you'd like, I would- Mr. Kingsley hasn't been out on business since I dragged his ass through the ink. I know you know who I am, and I know he's standing right behind you. I'm not here to shake hands and make amends, so you can hate me the whole time I'm telling my story, but don't hide behind some speaker on the doorstep. Miss Roundhouse, I would be happy Mandy to- Mandy DeWitt came to my apartment this morning. Miss Roundhouse, if you'd follow me, please, no, I'll, I'll take wait you to- here while you fetch the former councilman. I don't mean any disrespect, but when I get kicked out of a man's house, I don't like to do a lot of walking. When my story broke out all those years ago, I wasn't the only one who lost her job. Then Councilman Jake Kingsley quietly retired. I don't think it proved I was right, Kick up enough dust, someone's gonna get dirty. Roundhouse, you have two minutes to talk. After that, you leave. One second more and you might leave with a split lip. The threat of being kicked out of a house carries very little weight when it took me all of seven seconds to talk my way into it. You have one minute, 45 seconds. Do people just start running a clock as soon as I show up? Or does something about my demeanor suggest my time is running out? You already know Mandy DeWitt's name got you in the door. You don't need to crack wise until I bring her up. She gave me 20 bluebacks just to remind me that I once thought you and her husband were up to no good. I'm not some dumb bootlegger you can dance with. Stop trying to get me to talk. Tell me why you're here or leave. I'm here because a client paid me good money to answer her questions. I thought maybe you could spare an answer since you don't have anything else to spare. I see. So some trophy wife child gave you some of her husband's money to open old wounds and thought that you would come rattle sabers with me. You tell Mrs. DeWitt that my statement hasn't changed, and if she doesn't like it, remind her I already left office when she was still in high school. Yeah, that's what I figured you'd say. I don't know what she wants me to find out. She breezes in, asking about the water rations, dangles some money in front of me, and just like that, she's gone. Your time is up. Don't come calling again, Kennedy Roundhouse. By the smell of you, I assume you're spending the councilman's hard-earned money on illegal alcohol. I don't think you want anyone outside this room finding out about that. Kingsley only made good on half his promise, like most politicians. I got shown the door in under two minutes, but without the split lip, I was due. And the second I brought up the water rations, he threatened to turn me in for buying bootleg booze. He's crooked and smart as any of the rest. He knows that was tipping his hand. Is he protecting DeWitt? He's not protecting himself. He's already disgraced. He's not protecting Mandy. He doesn't give a damn about me. Why the warning? Why not just pull the trigger? I should go home and forget about all of this. That's exactly what Kingsley was trying to tell me. Unlucky for the both of us, there's another stop before my block where I might be able to get some more answers. Vince, attende. Long time no see. Kennedy Roundhouse. Long time no see. I just said that, attende. And I just said your name. Okay, I need you two to focus. I got myself lost in the dust again. From what I hear, you never left the dust. Sounds like you're in the same quicksand you've always been in. How do you know what I'm standing in? I've been on this case less than six hours, and everyone I talk to sounds like they've seen me coming a mile away. 
How the hell do you two know I'm chest deep in my latest case because I was chin deep in my last story? Hopefully your latest and not last case. Accusing former Councilman Kingsley and current Councilman DeWitt of deep corruption. You're knocking on your door in the shape of Mandy DeWitt, recent wife of Councilman DeWitt. Sounds like maybe she learned something she didn't like and wanted you to look into it. And we're guessing Nikki the Nose knows, cause Nikki the Nose knows it all. And you're editor the Nose, because of course Wally knows you sorted history intimately. But how did you know I visited former Councilman Kingsley? I just left his flat. We, we didn't. didn't. I just told them. You, you just, just told, told us. So tell me why I'm talking to you two. Cause you're too stupid to leave it alone. I already knew that. Tell me what I don't know. You ain't gonna like it. And my day at least has thematic consistency. Launch it. Mandy DeWitt knows where or why they dumped the water. <sighs> no, not this crap again. Told you you wouldn't like it. Every citizen has to spend time producing enough water to sustain themselves plus 50% more. It keeps us busy, keeps the rich rich, the powerful powerful. Plus the numbers from the public records don't hold up. There's more than enough water. Why? I've heard all this. I've heard more than enough of this. I went through those records during the investigation. They all match. I talked to everyone at the water plant, down to the janitors. It's all on the level. Then where does the surplus go? Emergency storage. I've seen the tanks. I'm not getting sucked into this. Is this what you have for me? If this is all you've got, then I've got a headache that needs medicating. There's something going on here, Ken. Something big. And everyone knows it. Why do you think everyone on the moon eventually has the same dream? Listen, kid. I don't go in for your conspiracy theories, said the reporter. We're done here. Want us to keep an ear to the ground? Keep an eye to the ground for all I care. Normally, Vince and Attende have a street's eye view for me. Guess they had moon dust in their eyes today. The young people always want to take aim at the seats of power. Why the hell did I get so mad? I close my eyes and pretend to have a headache so I can stop thinking about it. Ugh, to hell with this. I don't like self-indulgence. I don't like getting jerked around, and I don't like this case. By the time I get home, I'm convinced the only reason the day hasn't been a waste is the half-empty bottle in my pocket. I'm about to kick off my shoes and drink till I can't remember why I have the bottle when... Roundhouse. Look, I already spent the money, so if... Keep the money, I don't care. That's not why I'm here. Well, I haven't solved the case of why your husband's doing his job yet either. Forget the case. Forget I ever came here. After paying me 20 blue just to get my attention? Here. Here's the 180 I dangled at you to answer the question. Consider the question mark a period. Leave it alone. Leave it all alone, Kennedy Roundhouse. Either Wally started looking into things after I left, or Mandy Licks got an answer to her question she didn't like. I'm taking this 200 as payment on a job unfinished. A job I'll finish right after I finish this bottle. The Theater of Tomorrow was created by Andy Hamer and Travis McMaster. Kennedy Roundhouse, Moon Detective, was created by Mario Colley. Words by Travis McMaster. This production was fortunate in securing the services of Kelly Ninoltowski, Krista Lewis, Mark Witten, Chuty Two, Paul Getz, Josh Monk, Heather Monk, and E.K. Dagenfield. Broadcast in beautiful Los Angeles, California at the L.A. Studio Bricks Showroom. The L.A. Studio Bricks Showroom can be accessed on the Connectitudes at www.cglewis.com. That's www.cglewis.com. Join us next time for another thrilling episode of Kennedy Roundhouse Moon Detective! Tonight's production was a work of fiction produced entirely for the Theater of Tomorrow.